What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with the unboxing and review of Shang-Chi on 4K Blu-ray and digital. Four times sharper than the image on HD. It does come with the Movies Anywhere code, which I do use. So this slip cover is amazing. I love the shine to it. I love how it's embossed. It stars Simu Liu, Aquafina, Michelle Yu, and Tony Luim. I probably botched everyone's name. Witness the origin of a new MCU superhero. I've been dying to see this movie. I didn't see it in theaters. I wanted to get it in 4K first. I got it around Christmas time and I've been waiting for the right time to watch it. I already saw Eternals and I loved it. And everyone has been praising Shang-Chi, hated Eternals, and I loved Eternals. So this movie to me, I got a lot of hope for it and I can't wait to get into it. Let me know if you've seen Shang-Chi down below and if you ended up loving it. Well, here is the code, which I do use. And Disney came through for the crew, baby. We got artwork on the 4K disc. You guys know how much I praise studios when they add artwork on the disc. Thank you so much, Disney. Let's get into the details here. So here are the Blu-ray special features. Deleted scenes, gag reel, family ties, building a legacy, and audio commentary. Not too much, but... It is what it is, it's Shang-Chi. Let's check it out, man. I'm gonna watch it right now, let's go. So we just got done watching Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And let me tell you guys, the only complaint that I had, just, just one complaint, they didn't really give me a deep backstory on the Ten Rings. It was just Shang-Chi's dad and how he had it for thousands of years and you know how he created basically a cult, that's it. I wanted a little more than that. You know, I wanted them to focus on the powers and where it comes from. And I do know that at the very, very end in the mid credit scene, they do kind of touch base on where it comes from and they really don't know. And I feel like they might be saving that for the future. But, you know, it, it, I feel like to me, it hurt the movie because I was constantly waiting for them to do a, a jump back in time to explain to us what the Ten Rings truly is, where it gets its power from. As far as the movie goes, that's my only complaint. Beyond that, the action was amazing, man. The, the, the sequences and especially that bus scene in the beginning of the movie, it was just... I thought the choreography and, and the setup for each fight was awesome and it had good meaning. As far as the origin story itself, it was believable, it was enjoyable. I wanted a little bit more drama from the main actor himself, like I wanted more emotions. You know, it is what it is. The movie's outstanding. Ultimately, I give Shang-Chi an 8.5 out of 10. It is a very good, worthy MCU movie. Another thing I wanted to add is that the movie does have good comedy. The dialogue was awesome. It didn't really feel too rushed, but they they gave us a good sense of humor along with a nice story and it just wrapped up really well in the final act of the movie. It all came together and it felt right. You know, it didn't feel um, like cheap or shorthanded except for the Ten Rings mystery. I wanted to know more about that, okay? Now we're here to also talk about the quality of the film itself. How did it look on 4K HDR? Now this movie does not carry Dolby Vision. Disney doesn't really care about adding Dolby Vision to their 4K releases, I feel like it's lazy. And then on top of that, they don't even add the IMAX sequences. I feel like if we're paying, you know, damn near $30 for these movies at launch, they need to add Dolby Vision and the IMAX sequences. How does it have Dolby Vision on Disney Plus, but not on Blu-ray? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but it does come with the Dolby Atmos track and DTS 7.1 as well. So the, the sound is 10 out of 10. You know, these Marvel movies are super action packed and you feel every punch and every scene with the sound, uh, the sound mix that it has, it's outstanding. I enjoyed it. Now, I don't have the speakers above me or anything like that, so I don't, I'm don't. i not really reviewing that, but I'm talking about the quality of the sound and hearing individual particles and just awesome sequences that came to life thanks to the Atmos soundtrack. In terms of 4K quality, it looked crisp, they looked good, the CGI looked real. There was some scenes that the CGI was questionable, but it has nothing to do with the actual quality of the release. Now, keep in mind, all these movies are digitally shot. They're not really made on film anymore. 
so it does have like a very clean crystal clear feel to it and the colors do pop but the colors are just beautiful especially when they're in the outdoors you know ultimately is shang chi worth picking up on blu-ray or even 4k blu-ray i would say yes you know we really have no choice it doesn't have the imax sequences like it does on disney plus that's unfortunate but I do believe that it's worth it for the simple reason that it keeps a consistent image all throughout. Even though Disney Plus is awesome, I feel like streaming is always gonna have those moments where the image cracks at times and on 4K Blu-ray, it's just not gonna do that on disc. I would say get this movie anywhere between 15 to about $20. It's highly unlikely it'll be $15 unless it's Black Friday. So I would feel comfortable paying 20 to 25 right now, which we got it at $25 and I'm happy with it. And I can't wait to see him in Doctor Strange and the multiverse movie is just gonna be ridiculous. So that's all I got for you in this 4K Blue review. There's so much more we can talk about. Stop by one of our streams where we're gaming. We can talk about it. Subscribe for more content, guys. Don't miss out on another stream or video. Drop a like if you haven't already. It helps the channel and the video out. I will see y'all real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.